NCAA Wrestling Championships. We begin, fellas, at 125. Sam Hayswinkle of Oklahoma, as we mentioned, three times he's been a third place finisher, undefeated this year, taking on a guy that he has met many times, Paul Donahoe of Nebraska. In fact, he beat him in the Big 12 Finals this year, 12 to three. Well, it looks like marriage agrees with him. He's undefeated since he got married, and so uh, uh, that's uh, a, a good uh, indicator for Sam Hayswinkle. What a story, three times he's third, in the nation. He gets over the hump his senior year, and here he is trying to win his first NCAA title. There is a pedigree in this family. His father, a two time Olympian, his uncle also an Olympian, and Greco Roman. So we begin with this first period of three minutes followed by two two minute periods. You'll see the number one next to Sam Hayeswinkle. It is in green. He is the number one seed. The green indicates the color of his ankle band. Paul Donahoe, the number six seed, he is wearing the red ankle band. Sam Hayeswinkle, he's just super solid from every position. He's really experienced. He's been in the big wrestling and big wrestling competitions his entire career. This year he's missed several uh, weeks with an injury earlier in the year, but we've talked about this and your body can take just so much and there's a certain freshness that uh, Sam Hayeswinkle has this year um, with his, uh, with a few less matches. A great scrambler, okay, good Thomas, in the fundamentals, go. able to get away from bottom. That's a successful formula for a wrestler. What kind of pressure does he feel though, knowing this is his last shot at Ladies the crown? Well, I, I think that uh, he just got through, he, he worked through the pressure in the semifinals to the point where I think he feels relaxed, he knows that he has a, a wrestler he's beaten, and he's he's on the big stage right now, and I believe that Sam Hayeswinkle is the kind with the experience he has, he's going to let it go. Earlier this week, Sam Hayeswinkle was wearing a knee brace on that left knee that went all the way from the bottom of his singlet all the way down into that green ankle band. But now you can see in the last three rounds, he has reduced that to make it a little bit more mobile, and it has really worked and paid big dividends. He remains unbeaten right now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Paul Donahoe of Nebraska. Donahoe, a runner-up in this year's Big 12 championships. He works out with Jason Powell, the 2004 Nebraska national champion. Donahoe from Davison, Michigan, so he might have a few in the crowd here that are supporting him in Auburn Hills, a two-time Michigan state champion. And he has wrestled right here in this arena. The Palace is where they hold the state championship. He's wrestled here three times in his career. And uh, it, it has to be, there has to be a certain comfort about being in the arena where you had so much success as a press. Shut up! Shut up! the number two seed. Donahoe's strategy has to be to stay, on the, uh, stay neutral till he can get on the mat because uh, with um, on, Hayeswinkle, on. he's good in every position. He likes to work on the feet. Donahoe, he just wants to get on the mat, wants to get on top. That's where he's tough. Other side, Green. The fact that they met just a couple of weeks ago in the Big 12 championships and the fact that Hayeswinkle won clean. so easily 12 to 3, you feel like Donahoe is taking a little different approach to this match with Hayeswinkle tonight. I imagine he's going to want to keep it close, try to get through this first period 0-0. And if he does that, Tim, then he gets to bring his strength to bear, which is mat wrestling. For those of you new to wrestling, of course, there are 10 weight classes starting at 125, going all the way through to the heavyweights. Each match consisting of three periods. We've just seen the opening three-minute period. Now we'll have two two-minute periods. If they remain tied at the end of that, we'll start explaining overtime for you. This is a big five, six seconds for Sam Hayeswinkle. See what kind of explosion he can get, hip separation, and see if he can get out, because he does not want to stay underneath Donahoe. He's got the hips separated, but Donahoe comfortable in that lap rise. Looking for the tilt here with the half Nelson. Using the crab ride. Donahoe working hard for near fall. Nice there job. Good escape. That's one point for Hayeswinkle. What he did was he was able to lift his hips, separate his hips, good hip heist, hand control out for one. Very uh, well executed by Sam Hayeswinkle. Very important when you just beat your opponent with your on your opponent's strength. 
Paul Donahoe was a two-time state champion at Davison High School. Hayes-Winkle, three-time Big 12 champion, including this year, Junior including National the last champion. two years, comes from a wrestling Circle. family. Dad Michigan. David and his uncle Jim both competed Auburn. in the yes. Olympics. His dad David was his high school coach in Pensacola, Florida. Wrestlers were asked to fill out student athlete questionnaires. He was unbeaten in high school, Hayes Winkle, 140 and 0. Was the most noteworthy thing about your hometown? On your feet, you've got to create movement. You need to get openings and that foot and hand speed. And these guys are just trying to move each other around so they can create those angles so they can move to the side and, and attack. But both wrestlers having a hard time getting through that hand head uh, defense. Two on one by Hayeswinkle here, but unable to execute a finish. Wrestling can either be done with no contact or from a tie. And Thus far, these two have been tying up. A lot of grabbing each other's head, and they're trying to unbalance one another, breaking down the stance and the defense, creating the opportunity for a shot. Even though Hayeswinkle leads right now, isn't this the pace of this match favoring Donahoe just a little bit? Oh, it really does. I mean, when you're the underdog, you like to shorten the match. The match is shortened every time, every second that ticks off right here for Donahoe. He got beat 12 to three last time. He's the underdog. He wants a short match, and it's it's going in his favor right now. So we go to the third period, one nothing Hayeswinkle. Now Donahoe wants down. That's his option. Mark Manning, coach at Nebraska. Okay, good position, Red. Go ahead, set it. Set, hold it. Hayeswinkle, Oklahoma's only All-American this year. It's the lowest number they've had since 1993. Now let's look and see Donahoe's hip separation, hand control. See if he can get away from Hayeswinkle. To beat the best, you can't be ridden. to the escape. Not yet. Nice move by Dono because he's got strong hips here. This will be tough for Hayeswinkle to hold on. There it is, the one point escape. There's a nice drag attempt by Hayeswinkle. Dono was hanging on the head. You don't want to hang, you want to move and try to control the tie. When you hang, you, your opponent has an option to drop or cut the corner on you. Donahoe's working that head. He's, he kind of likes to knock it down and working it hard. Neither wrestler down, moving the feet the way you want. You got to move feet. You got to get off the tracks. They're both just kind of going straight ahead. In the background, you hear Bob Durr, our referee. Constant conversation with these wrestlers. This is right where Donahoe wanted to be, a chance to win with 35 seconds left in the championship match. There's the danger of hanging on the head like that. Hayeswinkle there exploding out of it, but unable to score. Don Donahoe again going after the head, almost inside trip Hayeswinkle. Improve it! Improve it! Now it comes down to it's just like overtime, really. What's your go-to move as, as, as in your takedown? What do you know that you can take it, your opponent down 90% of the time when you shoot it? You should be thinking about your go-to move. What is it right now to win the national championship? We're going to overtime. Jack Spates, the head coach of the Sooners in his 14th year there, hoping beyond hope that Hayeswinkle can make it the fourth time the charm. A one-minute sudden victory overtime period. This is a, a great example of sometimes you can win without being the best. And Donahoe is certainly not considered the best, but he has put himself in a position to win. And on a good leg shot here, he knocks Hayeswinkle down, but Hayeswinkle has a wizard. Donahoe throws the leg in and earns the points. Donahoe, big upset, turns it around, national champion for the Cornhuskers. Paul Donahoe, just a sophomore. He wins it in his home state, ladies and gentlemen. 
his home state. He wins it in his home state. He's been here before. It certainly was an advantage. Class act, Sam Hayeswinkle. Congratulations. He's been a great ambassador for the sport. Four-time All-American, three times third.